<laughs> hey, let's talk about search experience and credence. So this is an economic classification of goods and services, SEC, search experience credence. Um, it's a way that uh, economists break down services and goods uh, based on the ability of the consumer to judge the quality of the good or service before, after, before and after they purchase it, right? So um, an example of this is a search good is a, a search good or a service is a good or service where uh, the consumer of that good or service is fully capable of evaluating the quality for the most part of that good or service before they purchase it. Okay, so flowers are a great example. If you buy flowers at a florist, you can walk into the florist, see, all right, I want a dozen roses. You can look at the roses and instantly know if they're good roses or not for the most part, right? There's some other details in there, but generally speaking, you know what you're looking at. Um, you can evaluate it and you can do that before you purchase it. That's the key, okay? So that's a search good. An experience good or service is something that you have to experience first. You have to experience it before you can evaluate it. A restaurant is a great example of an experience service, I guess you wanna call it that, or product if, if you're talking about the food. Uh, an experience service, you have to experience it. So I can't tell you what a restaurant tastes like or if I like the food or if it's any good or if you should go there until I've already been there, right? But once I've been there, I can tell you pretty, pretty accurately if it was good food, if the service was good, all that kind of stuff, right? So that's an experience, good or service. And then you have the third, the third uh, category in the SEC classification is a credence, good or service. And with credence, goods or services, you can't tell before or after you buy it. So what products, what services fall into that category? Healthcare is a good one, uh, legal services. Um, so let me illustrate how this works, right? Let's say I'm a business owner, I wanna get some contracts drawn up from my attorney. I call my attorney, I say, hey dude, um, write up these contracts. He writes them up, he gives them to me. Are they good? I have no idea. There's no way to know. If I ever end up in court, and have to and put those documents to the test, that's pretty much the only way I'm gonna find out if they're good. There's no way for me to know before I purchase those contracts or after I purchase those contracts if they're good. That's kind of why I'm hiring the attorney. Uh, healthcare is very similar, right? Unless I have a background in healthcare or really extensive knowledge, it, I'm not gonna know if my doctor is telling me the right stuff or the wrong stuff. I'm, it's just gonna be really difficult for me to figure that out. So those kind of things are credence services or credence goods. And the important thing to think about when you're thinking about these, think about what your product is. What do you sell? What do you do? What does your organization do? What is your product? Is it a, a search good, a credence good, or an experience good? And that is gonna really dramatically impact your marketing, okay? Because if you're selling flowers, you just have to make the flowers look good, right? And then just make sure everybody knows that you have flowers, and that's it. Right. I mean, you can do some other stuff. Florists can go get like Google reviews and stuff like that and 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 get that social proof. But at the end of the day, you just need people to know that you have flowers and that they look good. And that's it. Now, take a doctor, for example. A doctor is not going to do well with that strategy. A doctor is not going to do well by just saying, hey, we have medical services and come on in <laughs> and I have, a, I have an MD, right? That doesn't work for doctors. The reason for that is because of how people judge a product, how people shop for the products in each of the SEC classification categories. So in a search good or, or a service, people, uh, it's a simpler process, right? I can just go look at the product. That's really all I need to know, um, to know if it's good and and so that process, the, what the marketing that's gonna work for a search good or service is gonna be much more about just getting it in front of people, letting people see it, right? If you think about experience, right? They don't know if it's good or bad until they've tried it. So how do you convince them to try it? Well, you tell them about all these other people that have tried it before. And it turns out like peer reviews, so like Yelp, for example, for restaurants are the one of the biggest things you can do to market an experience, service, or good, because that's how people are gonna judge it. They're gonna be like, all right, this guy's an expert, he's been there. Um, and especially on a platform like Yelp, you have 800 experts who have been to this restaurant. Well, we can probably trust that, that the average review is 
decently accurate. Um, and so we should go there, we shouldn't go there, and we can make that judgment based on these other people's opinions. A credence good or service is very, very different from both of those. It's far more complex. So if you're selling a credence good or service, we are, we're selling marketing services, doctors are selling that, lawyers are selling that, um, almost any professional service is selling that. If that's what you're selling, then just getting your information out there, letting people know that you have this product and it exists, and they can buy it is not going to do anything, right? So if we're a marketing company, if all we did was just have a website that said, we do these, ser these are our services and that's it. And that's the only thing we ever did to sell anything. We would never sell anything ever at all because we're a credence service. Uh, same thing with doctors. Okay. They, they, I read this study a while back that uh, looked at patient evaluations of their medical care. And what they found was that patients consistently judged medical care based on obvious information and not on information about the quality of care. So they would judge the medical services by how nice the doctor was, how friendly the staff was, how clean the office was, how fancy the office was. They did not judge the doctor on quality of care, even if that information was made available to them. And that's the interesting part. Even if they had data given to them about the technical quality of that doctor's care. They still did not judge the doctor based on that information. They still used this other information. And that's because they just, in a credence service or good, the customer just can't wrap their brain around stuff that they don't understand, right? And so it doesn't matter what you tell them. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter for as a marketing company. It doesn't really matter that we share results. I mean, it's definitely important. It definitely helps. But at the end of the day, the client doesn't really know how to judge results. A customer doesn't really know how to judge results before they come to us. So what works for Credence goods and services is very, very different. It's um, you, you basically have to do everything. So you have to make sure people know that you exist and that you have uh, whatever product or service that you have. On top of that, you have to show that other people like it. And then on top of that, you need third party expert uh, testimonials or reviews. So it's not enough to say, hey, Joe Blow down the street tried this, uh, tried this doctor and had a great experience. That's not enough uh, for a doctor. You also need that doctor to have a third party expert. So other doctors, and that's actually one of the best things a doctor could do or a lawyer could do is say all of these other people in my field or this professional organization say I'm good and I know what I'm talking about. Um, and you see, you see organizations, you see super lawyers is, a, is like an attorney marketing company and you see them actually doing this with, um, I forget what they call it. It's like, it's some kind of peer rating thing where attorneys rate other attorneys. And this is incredibly effective for attorneys because attorneys are a credence service. And one of the best things you can have is third party expert testimonial for that. So when you're thinking about your marketing and your content and your website and all that kind of stuff, you got to think which classification SEC am I in? And based on that, decide what type of content you need to create that's going to best communicate what you need to communicate to sell whatever you're selling.